Welcome to Reef Talk 2018. It's getting ready to open, and this place is completely and utterly packed. Reefstock 2018 took place at the Radisson Hotel in Denver, Colorado on February 24th and February 25th. The place was absolutely packed. There was so much excitement there and we were all waiting for the doors to open. I thought I was going to have to do that more than once, but you guys earned it, so let's go. <laughs> Now that the show has started, it's time to enjoy the fun. And there is so much to do. The place is packed with gear vendors and frag vendors. Now, me personally, as soon as I walk into a show like this, I head directly for the frag vendors. I wanna get there before this stuff is picked over and while the deals are there. So let's just take a minute and let's take a look at some of these amazing frag tanks. It wasn't just frag tables. There were some really cool display tanks, like this eye-catching coral tank, where they put the frag table in at a slight vertical angle, so that when you looked at it from the front, you got the overhead view of the table. I really think stores need to take this idea and run with it, as you get a really unique look at the coral. Then there was this amazing scalemia tank, full of really high-end scalemias lit by reef brights. While we're at the Reef Bright stand, why don't we take a minute and talk to Tulio about lighting. Now, Tulio, you are so well known for your work with LEDs, but you're here today with a metal halide. Tell me why metal halides are still valuable in 2018. Not a problem. It's no secret that halides have been a proven, you know, technology for decades. We've had success with, for decades with halides. The big thing with halides was twofold. One, we had heat and two, we had power consumption. What we've been able to do is we've been able to create a more efficient system so that now our halide systems basically, they, they consume as much power as any competitive LED system. And even with the heat, I can hold my hand on the fixture, no fans. Yes, it's gonna be a little warm, it is a halide. Yeah. But again, we, we've been able to reduce the forward heat, the, the actual fixture temperature. So people are even able to run these on their systems now without chillers. Oh, that's incredible. On oh, my old one, if I touched it, it burned the crap out of it. Yeah, yeah. Is, Our skin would it. still be on right. the fixture, exactly. And there's no fan, so there's nothing to worry about failing, no noise, nothing like that. And then today, we're not worried about par, we're worried about... Spectral, spectral composition. composition. That's what we get with a halide, right? Yes, yes, yes. There, there really isn't a light source, even still today, that will give you the broad spectral composition of a halide source. Fantastic. I love it. Thanks for talking with us, too. Thank you. So one of the cool things about these shows is they have a raffles. So I bought a bunch of raffle tickets. It's 20 bucks, and I've got a chance to win some incredible gear. So for a $20 bill, I might get something awesome. It's just about noon. I've already been in the show. I've seen so much really cool coral, met a lot of cool people, and it's about noon, so it's time to go to the first speaker, Vincent Chalias. Coral tennis, hey, for me it's the most boring coral. Because that's all I hear about all day long. Everybody, tennis, 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 tennis. That's all. This is Walt Disney, this is Omraker, you name it. So many thousand names. Fifteen years ago, we would grow them under metal alike. They would go just fine. They would become intensely blue, intensely green. Okay, with LEDs, they, they start to get these weird colorations that we don't see in the ocean. So, Vincent's talk was just the coolest. And if you want to watch the full talk, it'll be available on the Reef Builders YouTube channel. After Vincent's talk, 
I went back to the show, and it was time for a beer. With saltwateraquarium.com. What's up, Saltwater Nation? It's Greg. And they provided us with free beer. They have a keg over there. They're going to give free beer away until the keg is empty. So this is the coolest thing I've ever seen at the aquarium show. So tell us a little bit about saltwateraquarium.com. Sure thing, man. All right, so we are all dry goods. We are going to get you set up, keep you running, and upgrade you when necessary. A lot of folks here, this is our first time doing a show. We always do shows, but we've never done a booth before. So we said, what can we do to make it something different? We're doing free beers. Free beers. Uh, we're, we're on keg number two. This is tomorrow's keg. We had to order another keg for tomorrow. So hour and 10 minutes, these thirsty people here, thank you so much, came by to visit our booth. We ship for free all over the continental US. 30 day free returns. We'll sh ship it back to us on us. We got a great clearance program. Folks return things to us all the time. When I'm not doing emails, and chat lines, and phone lines, and designing things like our back walls and stuff, I'm going through returns. If it works, if I can clean it up, we're going to repackage it, mark the price down, and sell it to you. If you have any issues with the return product, you got six months to say, this is good. We're going to exchange right out for you, usually for something new, because that clearance thing, is, it's so erratic and changes daily. Well, thank you so much. Thank man. you. Cheers. Cheers. Loving the company. Thanks, loving, the, loving the booth. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. Thanks, guys. And then it was time for the first raffle. And this place was completely packed. A lot of people won some really cool prizes. I didn't win, but there are more raffles to come. After the raffle, it was time to hear from Worldwide Corals. Worldwide Corals is renowned for their coral propagation systems and the amazing corals that they sell. But for this video, I thought I'd show the most entertaining clip I could find. This coral, um, there's an acropora that everybody's going pretty crazy over because when the polyps come out to feed, they're neon, neon, electric pink, you know? and for some reason, some of the workers say it reminds them that it looks like a budget smuggler. So, <laughs> so, <nice. laughs> so we call it the budget smuggler. So. After the Worldwide Corals talk, it was time for the second raffle of the day. I was so busy filming, I left my ticket upstairs. So now I gotta go see what I want. Ah, you were the lucky winner of one of the pick one over there from the yeah, prize box. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so everything to the, to the left of the box. There you go. Everything over here? Yep. Red Sea, calcium, alkalinity. Calendar. Looks perfect to me. It's the end of day one, and it was an absolute blast. Now, tomorrow is a whole nother day of reef stock. So we got more speakers, more fun, more coral, more gear. So let's see what tomorrow has to hold for us. For reef stock day two, I got to know the vendors. Let's start with Fritz. Fritz, Fritz is one of those old legendary brands. So tell me a little bit about your current line and what you have that's new and cool. So you guys know our salt, you know we do Mardell, you know our bacterias, Turbo Start. What we got new though for you guys to show off here, we've got our new copepods. This is Tigropus, we also offer Tisbees. Um, I sold out of our, my favorite one, my baby, it's uh, Azox. It's got 14 different species of uh, zooplankton in it, so it's multiple particle sizes for different corals. Works great for smallmouth fish like small blennies and anthias and gobies. Um, so that one's really awesome. Selco Boost, which is your frozen food soak, so it makes sure that you got all your nutrients and nutrition they need. Rotifers, brine shrimp napuli, and phytoplankton. And we bottle that phytoplankton separately, so there's no warfare in the bottle. Those sure. cultures are pure. All right, with corals being 60% stomach, I think feeding is really important. It's, this stuff looks awesome, and I love the I love the squirt top bottle. You just push it down, and you dose it. Makes it, it that's so awesome. easy. It's so convenient. It just makes it to where it's almost dummy proof. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> Brandon, thank you for your thank time. Thank you. From Worldwide Corals. Lou, why don't you tell us a little bit about Worldwide Corals? Sure, we're uh, based out of Orlando, Florida. We're an online company as well as a retail store. We've been open since 2007. We've been shipping orders for over 11 years. Now I can see you've already sold about half the corals in your frag tank, but do you have a favorite of what's in here? Yeah, I do. It happens to be uh, the WWC Budgie Smuggler. Right? <laughs> the funniest yeah. name ever. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite funny, that name. And um, it's quite a unique thing when you really look it up and see what a Budgie Smuggler is. <laughs> But uh, we love the coral. It's an SPS coral, and it's right up here in the front of our tank. And the color on that thing is just absolutely incredible. So yes, sir. Thank you, Lou. For You're welcome. 
I'm with Jeremy of Benef Pets, and you have some really interesting looking food here. Tell me about this food. You bet. So we're out of we're out of Utah. We're based out of Utah, and uh, we're really proud of this food. It's it's not just a coral food. It's an entire reef food. It's a powder supplement that you can put in your tank. It's not going to over nutrify your tank. It uh, controls phosphates. It becomes scavengers for the orthophosphates. So your phosphates, your nitrates, all that stuff are in check. And it feeds everything in the system. So not just your corals, but your invertebrates, your filter feeders, all that stuff is going to be consumed. It's about the absorption capacity of the food. And you're already selling this uh, professional coral propagators and coral farms? Absolutely. We're distributed through Quality Marine. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Thanks, I appreciate guys. it. Appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. No problem. Thanks. I'm here with Josh Newsom of Dynasty Corals, and you've got about half your corals left, so this might be hard, but tell me a little bit about your company and tell me what's your favorite coral in this tank. So we're based out of Idaho. Um, we do 100% aquaculture. Um, one of our favorite corals right now is the uh, Acropora Florida. Um, Jake just did a big article on it. Reef Builders, it's a crazy bright yellow and green. Um, looks like a slimer, just a lot brighter. Yeah, I can't believe the color on that. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Definitely stands out. Um, like I said, it's a it's a cool piece because it's been aquacultured probably for the last ten or twelve years. So it's a it's been around for a while. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Josh, for thank showing you. us this awesome yeah, acro. Appreciate it. It was so cool to meet with all the vendors and all the coral sellers. But it was time for the thing that I was looking forward to the most at reef stock, and that was Sanjay Yoshi's talk. A couple of things you'll notice, I'm running LEDs on my tank. Um, I switched from metal halides to LEDs five years ago. And my main goal there was to actually start showing people that yes, LEDs can grow corals. Sanjay had always been a personal hero of mine. At Reefstock, he walked the floor, he met with people, he took pictures. And at one point in the evening before, I found myself sitting there given a Facebook live stream with Reefing Legends. This year's Reef Talk was one of the best. I'd met so many people and had so much fun. But now I think it's time we pass the mic off to Jake. Well, so Scott just handed me the mic, and he has been covering reef stock really, really well. Um, we've been running around like, like crazy people just trying to put on the show. Um, this is my 11th show, but uh, Anthony, this is your first show. What, it, what was Reef Talk like for you? Um, it's uh, definitely an experience compared to what we have in Australia. Um, it's tiring, but a good tiring, um, and uh, so much to see. So, yeah, awesome, really good, really, really good. Very cool. And um, yeah, I actually can't wait to see how this video turned out because you know we got Scott behind the the camera who handled this the the whole time. We're just about an hour from wrapping up this show, and all of our attention and all of our energy has gone into making this show a smash hit. And I got to say, I was motivated because Australia is coming up. I think I put a little extra effort into this show, and it really, really showed. Um, but from here on out, it's going to be all about Reefstock Australia. Yeah, we can't wait. We can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> can't wait. It's going to be huge. What do you want to say to um, our Aussie reefer friends about this show um, to look forward to in Australia? Okay, so get ready. Uh, we Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see Scott's video and how they do it in America properly and that's what we want to bring to Australia. So learn, um, take it all in, uh, watch how the professionals do it and in five months it'll be uh, in our backyard. So yeah. can't wait. Yeah, we got, a lot, we got a lot of really great looking merch. We got free posters, you know, comic books, we got stuff for the kids. I'm really going to stimulate every aspect of the reef aquarium hobby and I'm also going to bring that Australian touch to it, you know, really celebrate um, the collectors and the local scene um, and try to shine a light on that a little bit more as well. Yeah, cool. Well, as you can tell, we are both fading a little bit. <laughs> we are going to wrap up our booth, close out the show, and uh, go have a cold one, right? Let's do it. Very one last cool. time. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for all of our different uh, Facebook pages and events and websites uh, to keep a tabs on uh, Reefstock Australia and the next Reefstock here in Denver. Catch you guys next time.